So in this video, we're going to be finishing off uploading a profile image. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is create a new item in our database to be able to store these new profile images. So we're going to go to the users table and of course profile images are associated with a user. So we're going to go to the structure tab and we're going to add a new field to store the users profile image. And we're going to say varchar and we'll set it to 255. Imager URLs are usually quite short, so we should never actually reach this 255 character limit. And we are going to allow that to be null because the user might not have a profile image, in which case we can provide them with a default. So now we've added a new column to our table, we need to update our register script to take account of this new row. So if we go to create account, when we insert into users, we also want to insert an empty row for our profile image. So let's test that that still works. If I click create account, it says success and we check the database. Now we have a new user and they don't have a profile image by default. So our register script still works as expected. So on the my account page, we also want to add a check to make sure the user's logged in. So we'll go to my account and here what we want to do is check if the user's logged in and we've already done that on the index page. So up here, we're just going to paste our login check and we can get rid of the post class, the comment class and the timeline variables. So here we're just going to check if they're logged in. Otherwise we'll say not logged in. Instead of saying echo, we'll just say die not logged in because if we die, it kills the page so none of the other code will get run. So now that we've checked if the user's logged in, we're going to check the size of the image that gets uploaded. So we're going to say if files profile image size is greater than a certain number and the number we want to check is 10 megabytes. So we could say if the size of the image is greater than this number, which is 10 megabytes, I think, then we're going to say die image too big must be something like that. And we could check the type of the image, but we're just going to leave that for now. We're going to let people upload animated images if they really want to. And what we want to do after we know the image is valid, which is down here, is we want to insert it into the database. And we get that from the response. So if we print our response, and if we actually, above that echo, pre-tags, and then we'll just close those pre-tags off, and then it's much easier to see the data. So if we run this, Now we can see we have an array called data and within that we'll have all these different items. We have ID, we have title, but what we want is way at the back and it is the link to the image. And the response that we get returned is a string of JSON. So what we need to do is say response equals JSON decode to decode it into a PHP array and we'll decode the response and we'll store the response in itself. And what we'll actually do is copy that and paste it below so we can see what the array actually looks like. We'll upload that again and we'll see the array now. So you can see here, these aren't just standard arrays, they're objects. So to access an item within an object, what we want to do is use PHP special arrow operator. So in order to get the link, which is down here, the very last one, we can't just say response and then data and then, for example, link. That won't work. What we want to do is we'll say echo response and we'll use PHP's arrow operator to go into data and then we'll use the arrow operator again to go into the link property of that data property within the response. So if we run that, what we'll get is just the link printed out. So if we run this one more time, you can see we get the link printed out below. And that's the link we want to store in the database. So what we want to do now is insert that into the database. What we want to do is run a query. So we'll say db query, update users, set profile image, equal to profile image where id equals user id and then here we just want to pass in these variables so we create an array the first one's going to be the profile image so profile image is going to be response data link and the user id is going to be equal to user id which is what we got when we checked if the user was logged in so that should be everything we need to do to update the user's profile picture so we'll run it one more time and before we run it we go to SQL Pro, we refresh. You can see there's no profile images. We click upload image, everything worked. We go to SQL Pro again and we refresh and there's our profile image, it's been uploaded. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Reddit and I'll see you next time.